Hello, Paul again here from uh, EMD Automotive. I've got this Porsche 996 engine I was working on. Uh, took the motor out. That's a 997 on a previous video. But today I just want to show you what I've done. I've removed all the camshaft out. So you can see everything's laid out here. Uh, that's a special tool you've got to buy for this kind of job. So you can actually, a uh, special tool go through here. From there to there to compress the tensioner down so you can take the chain off and you don't really need to buy a tool you just buy a bolt this is a m5 bolt by 100 100 mil long m5 and just put those plastic uh, for this plastic uh, nut on it and that will be perfect for this job here so you don't have to buy a special tool for that i do sell them if you want i can make one for you i usually just get two of those and four of those little nuts and put it in a plastic bag and send it to your workshop if you want to use it. It's a good tool to have. Anyway, let's go back to the engine. All right, this is bank two, four to six. So a lot of the actual lifters are getting really, really hard to compress. Like that one there is pretty hard, rock hard. That one's starting. That one's okay. That one's all right. Yeah, this one's pretty bad. I can't even press it in. You're supposed to press it in and you see some oil bubbles if you put it underneath a bucket. Best way to do it is see that? Little oil bubble there. Oil comes out. So usually put it underneath a bucket, a bucket of oil, and you just press it. And if the oil, see that oil coming out like that? That means it's alright. That means it's actually moving inside. But let's look at this one here. That one there. It's starting to be very hard as well, especially this one here. That one there is not even moving at all. I can't even move my finger. It's really stuck. That one's stuck. That's a good one. Look at that. Oil just comes straight out like that and very soft to press in. This is a hydraulic lifters. All right. I have checked the camshaft journals all around. No damage on the camshaft journals. I'll wipe it down and do a thorough inspection, but just this is only a quick look because I took it off. This is the hydraulic lifter housing. I have checked all the housing. There's no wear marks on the actual, there's no scoring marks on the actual valve lifter housing. This is bank one, this is bank two, so you can see. There's no massive score marks uh, but I can see I can see something on this side here see that sorry let me get a something I can point to have a look at that part there that's a massive score marks there all right You can't really get them repaired. It's hard to get these repaired because um, if they take something off, if they take too much off to clean it up, that will be not good for the lifter. Will be the lifter will be loose inside there. All it takes is a tiny bit of wear of, to actually cause the lifter to uh, see that one there is pretty bad. This side here is not as pretty okay. This is bank two, that's bank one. Sorry, I'm moving too quick. See here, massive score, score mark here as well. That one there, have a look at that one there. Pretty deep groove, groove on that one there. Yeah, it's, it's a weird item, the lift is moving. The lifters move up and down on this one here, like really, really fast. Um, so I have to recommend to the customer that we have to uh, change these two housings because he can't fix anything like that. So a lot of score marks and burn marks here, see here? Score mark there, that part there. It's a messy score mark here as well. Yeah, it's really, if you look closely on, the, on, on both, 
came lift our housing they're pretty pretty scored on this one here all right and the lifters are starting to be actually very hard to press and have a look at this one here this is worn already look at that that's the plastic worn already on the actual hydraulic adjuster this is the hydraulic adjuster as well worn as well on this side here just pick line massive lines there that's wear marks so basically i'm gonna get the customer let the customer know that we need new lifters new cam housing um, and new hydraulic adjuster all right so that's what we need for this car here i've gone through the whole car as well i've checked all the springs on the car and the collets everything is intact checked all the springs on both sides intake and exhaust for any broken springs they're pretty good that's bank two this is bank one all the springs are good on bank one same thing so you can see the top one is the intake bottom one is the exhaust all right check the, all the guides here all the guides are good so the guides are see a lot of wear marks on the guides here while I'm here, I'm going to ask his customer so I can replace the actual guide as well, the chain guide. See how the wear marks there? That's pretty old. All right. While I'm here, I might as well change it. And some of the other stuff here, that's the original here. The cooler, still original for the actual <coughs> heat exchanger, this one here. Oil cooler. And other stuff I found, actually the power stream pump as well is leaking as well down here that's your power steering pump it's leaking down to here the pulleys need to be changed as well the alternator that needs to be removed and uh, the bearing is noisy hear that that's starting to go as well it's a new tension at the back for the actual drive belt as well and probably when i ask him to change the actual little pump down here the new pump from porsche that looks like the original for the oil pump a little small oil pump down here it's gonna come off put a new one in there then the IMS bearing has never been done on this car so it's a lot of stuff I can ask the customer to get it done now while the engine is out uh, rear main seal and all that stuff IMS bearing I'm gonna ask him if he wants to do it while the engine is out but uh, yeah this is my diagnostic on this one here basically basically I'm trying to remove I, uh, the problem with this car is actually when you start in the morning, it makes a really rat a massive rattle noise from the chain. A chain rattle noise. And after the, once you get the oil pressure, once you get oil pressure in the actual, um, in the system, the rattle noise goes away. But there's a ticking noise tick, 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 from the lifter noise, which explains the actual, some of the lifters starting to actually harden up. Can't even press it. It should be very soft. This is a really nice one. Look at that. Look at the oil just very easy to press like that that's a really good one but it's like 50 50 50 like maybe 60 percent are good and then 40 percent are bad but this is a 3.4 liter so intake and exhaust are both the same lifters no difference uh, 3.6 are different because the intakes got adjustable uh, intake adjustable height adjustable lifter so uh, sorry, it's just a uh, cam lift 3.6 for the cam lift uh, 3.4 doesn't have a cam lift All right, and then the intake the intakes different from the exhaust on the 3.6 You can see a little two little uh, notches on the side there on the 3.6 which is this is a 3.6 here So if you have two solenoids, so you got one I'll show what I mean if you got two if you got a two so this is upside down on the 99 on the 3.6 with the cam lift you've got the cam lift inside here that's a cam solenoid lift and variable valve timing you know, on this one here so if you've got two of these solenoids on your cam on your in on your uh, cam cover that means you ca you've got cam lift and that means your intake hydraulic lifter and exhaust hydraulic lifter are different but if you don't have a cam lift you won't have a solenoid in the middle 
On this side, you just have a solenoid on this side here, which is the same as that one there. It's just one solenoid for your adjuster there, for the camshaft. All right. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.